Hi guys, so my name is Lolly and I would just thought I would do this video because of course a lot of us are staying in at the moment and I'm bored and quite frankly I'm bored too. So I thought I would make this video. I am not great at many things but one thing I am good at is saving some money and cutting corners where I can. So I thought I would share my little tips on how I do my own eyelash extensions. I don't have qualifications while doing this, so this is 100% just a DIY. I'm not claiming that I this is the proper way to do it. Of course it isn't, um, but I will try and advise where you can try and be a little bit more sensible in certain areas than others. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, things that you're going to need to do this um, it's obviously glue and lashes, but there are a couple of other little bits that I do genuinely recommend getting. In regards to the lashes, I order mine off Amazon and I use these individual ones. These are decals and they vary from 8mm all the way up to 15mm. And of course I don't use 15mm, that is very, very long, um, but I guess it depends on the style that you want. Um, however, if you don't want to order like a huge amount like this, you can go to places like Sabres or even Primark and get um, cluster lashes. Cluster lashes are what most people consider as individual lashes um, for like party wear um, and generally they're applied with standard eyelash glue but you can actually use them as eyelash extensions. The only downside to this is obviously when one comes off it leaves a much larger gap so just bear that in mind. In regards to glue, if you are researching a glue and you can't easily get hold of it, maybe see that's a red flag. Not because it's not a good glue, but maybe it's a glue that you need to have a license to buy and therefore isn't great for beginners or people doing it on themselves at home, so just bear that in mind. My recommended glue is Ardell Lash Tight. Now, this obviously is a permanent lash glue, this, as far as I'm aware, is the most single user-friendly glue available on the market. It's also pretty damn cheap and you can get it in clear and black. I personally just prefer the clear. I'm messy sometimes, so... Now this is a large bottle. Again, you can get this off Amazon. Maybe if you're not sure if this is for you, just get the little one, which is again what I started with using and now that I know that I like it and it's something that I frequently do, I did invest in get the big one big one is a lot better value for money but it's pointless buying a larger one if you're not gonna do it more than once so don't bother because you literally as you'll see you're gonna use the tiniest drop of this um another product I would recommend getting I don't know how I ended up with this because nobody ever recommended to me to buy it um, but I guess I just kind of thought ahead and I don't see many other videos recommending this is buying your remover at the same time. So this is the Ardell Lash Free Individual Eyelash Adhesive Remover, specifically to use with Lash Tight Adhesive. So it is the remover for this specific glue. This is so important to buy, and a lot of people will be like, oh, it's like another five, six quid that I really can't be bothered to spend. And I had them on once, and they were really irritating me. And rather than going to find this, I just tried to like, I didn't yank them but I just gently kind of was trying to twist them and pull them off and wiggle them off. Um, I lost so many eyelashes doing that and it has taken weeks for them to start growing back. Honestly for the couple of extra quid, even if you have like an allergic reaction, this is an absolute godsend and honestly it's going to save your lashes in the future because lashes take a long time to grow back. They take on average six to eight weeks for one eyelash to grow from nothing to full again. So just make sure that you are like, taking care of them and if you do want to remove the glue, make sure you get specific lash glue remover. Uh, to use that as well, I actually use these little brushes. So this is actually a nail art brush. Um, I got like a pack of like 10 from Poundland a while ago and they all came with like these little, just literally all sorts of little tiny brushes like this, some slightly bigger, some slightly smaller. It's just nice having something that I can very, very gently brush onto my lash, so make sure that you get one because this stings if it gets in your eye, so make sure you have something that you can literally just brush onto it and let it do its magic without pouring this in your eye. And then of course applicators, tweezers. I do prefer slanted tweezers like this. I actually again got these in a nail set. Um, 
I'm sure you can just buy these off Amazon and to be honest I think larger boot stores will also stock these I just find they're a lot easier to get so you're not having to put your hand right in front of your face and you can sort of work from the side and obviously a spoolie um, I actually don't have one at the moment well I do but it's kind of gathered fluff and if anybody's ever had like a spoolie with fluff on it don't it's so unhygienic and it's just nasty and it fluff gets in your eyes so I personally will be using a lash comb later but I would recommend using a spoolie just to brush your lashes out at the end make sure they're not tangled or anything like that if you are going to be doing this in the evening make sure you use a really good light um, because you don't want to be getting this on your skin you want it on the lashes themselves so you want to have like a really really clear view of what you're doing it sounds really obvious but make sure your face is completely makeup free you're not wearing any mascara there's no makeup residue in and around your eye and then we're just going to take the tiniest drop of my Ardell and I'm going to pop it onto a little bit of foil actually on another note just before I get into actually putting these lashes on make sure you do a patch test it sounds like a massive ball ache and when people go oh do a patch test do a patch test it is your eyes at the end of the day please don't prep out with them make sure you test it because I used to work at an opticians and I've seen what happens when people prep about with this and not just be sensible with this so that's realistically all I'm saying just be sensible so I start with my little 8mm teeny tiny you can't even see it on camera these are so small and I'm just going to take the tiniest little dot I'm almost gonna like dip it and wiggle it. Try not to like wipe it into the glue because then you'll get the glue all up the extension and honestly that's like not fun at all. What I do is I actually lift and I go underneath and I hold it for a moment. The reason I'm going underneath rather than on top, you're gonna end up with a lot of glue on the top and it's gonna really start to irritate you especially when you're blinking. So I like to do like the bottom layer underneath and then I fluff them out by putting more on top. That's just how I've done it in the past. So next I'm gonna take my nine mil. I'm gonna place it against the eyelash. So as you can see now, I've got my short one there and my nine mil there. And I'm sort of creating like a little gap of where they're gonna go. So just continuing from what I did before, I'm taking more lengths and creating little sections, I guess, so that I'm mapping out where I'm gonna be placing the lengths later. Remember, all of these are going underneath the lashes as to not create extra glue. So my main length that I go to is 13 mil. So around this point here, this is where I'll have the length and then they will just get slightly shorter again here. They won't get as short as they will here. They'll probably go back to like 10 mil. So I do 8 mil, 9 mil, 10 mil, 11, 12, 13, 11, 10. That's generally roughly what I would do. I might throw the odd like 14 in there later to add like a little bit of wispiness to them. But for the most part, I am just going to be doing that. And the reason behind that is because the natural eyelashes are shorter here and here. Um, but here isn't quite as short as here, so it's to follow the natural shape. If you end up with them like really long here, natural eyelashes don't look like that. So this is to give more of a natural look. Obviously it does depend on what you like. So, so this is literally just me continuing to map out those lashes. So again, getting longer and longer until about two thirds way across the eye and then getting slightly shorter again. I'm not filling in the body just yet, I'm literally just placing lengths so that I have a map to work from. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but you can see I've got, it gets longer and then they get shorter again here, obviously I do have quite a lot of natural lash in the middle here, but hopefully you can see that map. So now I'm just going to go in. And I'm just going to fill these in. So this little cluster here is going to be 8 mil, the 9 mil, 10 mil, and then I'll show you what I do to get them to be like all wispy and choppy. So I'll be back in a bit. So 
So yeah, this is now where I'm simply filling in those sections that I've already created. I start in my inner corner and then I work my way round, just so I'm not getting all flustered and confused with what size is going where. This can take a little bit of time, so just try and put a bit of music on, try and chill out, otherwise you can get really, really agitated doing it. Okay, so at this point, as you can see, I've got generally a good amount of like basic lashes going on. Now, some people would actually just want to stop here, like if they really, really don't want anything. Obviously, for the most part, including myself, this is not enough. So, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take some of these short lashes. So up to about the 11 mil, and I'm gonna be like dropping them on top, but at a steeper angle. And this is gonna give that more like, when you're looking sideways, this like 3D effect. Ideally, you would obviously have like different levels of curl for this, um, but I don't. And generally, if you're using cluster lashes, they're all the same as well. So you've just gotta adjust what angle you're putting your lashes at. So my rule for the top layer is to keep it in ratio, make them slightly smaller. So for example, if there's a 10mm on the bottom layer, put 8 mils on the top at a sharper angle. If it's 13mm, put 11s on top, but at a sharper angle, if you understand that. Make sure that you manipulate them before they dry, because otherwise they're not going to go anywhere and it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to carry on with this and I'll see you back in a little bit i'm probably going to turn the camera off for this bit because my battery is dying so yeah i'll see you in a little bit once i've mounted this up okay so this is after about another 10 to 15 minutes working on this eye and as you can see it's looking a lot fuller so that is what they look like at the moment obviously some people would prefer to go even more voluminous um some people prefer more cut eyed. Of course, now I'm just going to go and repeat the whole process on the other eye. So I'll see you in a moment when it's all done. Okay, so this is what it looks like all completed with just a little bit of makeup on. I genuinely, genuinely adore lash extensions. I feel that you can literally just put on like a little bit of a tinted moisturizer or a lightweight foundation, a bit of bottom mascara, stick your brows on, and you are literally good to go top tips for this one practice two make sure you've got enough stuff three natural daylight so much easier four leave yourself enough time and five make sure that you do a patch test and make sure you have no reaction to anything that you're doing because it's all well and good having lovely lashes but you kind of need to be able to see if you do have any other questions about like how to do this Obviously leave them in the comments below, I will try and answer as many as I can. If you found any of this uh, helpful or informative, please just give me a little like and a subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. Um, but yeah, thank you very much and I'll see you soon.